There are several ways to do character animations in videos, but here at Slumdog Film, we're extremely lazy. So today I'm gonna to be showing you some awesome techniques to do character animation the easy way. In this video, learn all the different ways you can use the Puppet Pin tool to animate your characters in After Effects. What's up everyone, this is Jordan Breton with Sonduck Film. Be sure to drop a like on this video, it helps us out a ton, and let's get started. First, we'll set up our pins and start animating one part of our character layer. Here we have a basic scene and our character that we'll be animating as a single layer in our timeline. If you want to find assets similar to these, I got all of these graphics from a stock footage website called FreePix. For this tutorial, we'll be showing you the simple way to animate the layer as a whole. This way is easier and more flexible, but the result isn't quite as good as if you had each part of your character separated into individual layers to be animated. To set this layer up for animation, double-click on it, select the Puppet Pin tool at the top, then we're going to put pins in all the major joints of the character. Think of them each as individual anchor points. Now you can see if I grab one of these pins and start moving it, that part of the character will move. Usually, to animate this, what you do is press U to see all the pins, move forward on the timeline, then move part of the character you want to animate. Now when I scrub through, you can see the arm moving. This way is fine, but we're going to use a new way of animating, so start by removing the keyframes from all the pins. Make sure you're at the start of the timeline, then hold the control key, and we'll drag the head to make it bob back and forth like this. Now you can see the keyframes were automatically created and the head is now animated. It might not look great at first, but you can go into the recording options and increase the smoothing to make it look more natural. Hold down the ALT key and click the stopwatch for this pin. Type in the loop out expression with ping pong in parentheses, and this head bobbing animation will repeat forever. Now we have our pins set up and the first part of our character animated. Next we'll use some additional puppet pin tools to continue our animation. First, let's animate the left arm the same way we did with the head, by holding control and dragging it to animate the motion that we want. But as you can see, this arm is going behind the body of our character and we don't want that. To fix this issue, what we'll do is select the Puppet Overlap Pin tool, then start clicking on the arm and filling it out. This highlighted area is going to overlap the rest of the character. Now you can see when I scrub through, the arm is in front of the character. Next, we'll quickly add our loop out expression so the arm continuously animates, and if you look at the arm, you'll see how the elbow warps a lot as the arm bends. To fix this, select the Puppet Starch Pin tool, and what this does is make the part of what you're animating more rigid, just like when you starch something. So, what we'll do is go near the elbow and put a starch pin right underneath of it. Now when I scrub through, you can see that the elbow doesn't warp because the arm is now more rigid. Now we have the arm animated properly and overlaying correctly on the rest of the character. Lastly, I'll show you how to use the Advanced Puppet Pin tool to animate the rest of our character. First, we'll look at the right hand of our character, and we're actually going to delete this initial pin that we put here. Now, go up and select the Puppet Advanced Pin tool, put the Advanced Pin right in the palm of the hand like this, then select the Starch Pin again, and put it right above that so that it keeps the arm stiff as we animate the hand. With the Advanced Pin, you can see I have more advanced manipulation capabilities on this part of the character. I can move the hand, rotate the hand, and even scale up the hand if I wanted. To animate with this pin though, we can't record an action like before. The advanced pin should already have made a keyframe at the start of the timeline, so just move forward, then adjust the pin to where we want. Now that the hand is animated, we can move on to the legs. I'm going to delete this pin on the left foot, replace it with an advanced pin, move forward a bit on the timeline, and this time I'm going to scale the foot up to make it look like it's coming toward the screen a bit. For the other leg, we won't use an advanced pin, just hold control and move the knee a bit along with the rest of the animation. Lastly, I'll quickly go through and add the loop out expression to everything we just animated, and we're done. A fully animated character using the different types of puppet pin tools in After Effects. Speaking of motion duck, as you probably know, video editing and doing motion graphics can take a lot of time and effort. To help you save time and create professional quality work, we've developed Motion Duck, an extension that includes thousands of templates. These templates can be easily previewed and applied with a simple click, and you can quickly adjust the parameters to suit your project. If you're looking for an edge in your work, be sure to check out all the templates we have available for After Effects and Premiere Pro by following the links below. And remember, creating content can be time consuming, but with Motion Duck, it doesn't have to be. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more post-production tutorials every week, and remember, always be creating.